What's up, Whoopers? It is Vice here, and I'm coming at you with Maggie, the Mikago. So, this Mikago came out recently, it came out in Lost Origins, so a couple of sets ago now. This Mikago is kind of interesting. The attack Lost Volcano does 220 damage for 3 energy. Put all energy attached to this Pokemon into the Lost Zone. So, uh, I always thought that this card was kind of overlooked. It is a bit difficult to work with the Mikago because every time you attack with it, you're putting cards into the Lost Zone. You're putting energy into the Lost Zone, rather. And while that's okay the first time, the second time, maybe even the third time, after maybe three attacks, you're starting to really hurt for access to your energy. So it can be a bit rough to make the Mikago work, especially when you hit the end of the game, you've got no more energy. And it's not like a regular high damage energy discarding deck where they have ways of bringing the energy back. If you play Flaffy, you can get the energy back. If you play cards like Lost Box, often you're running Recovery, like the Ordinary Rod and the Energy Recycler. But the problem with those cards in this deck is that they don't retrieve energy from the Lost Zone. So what do you do to mitigate that issue? And the answer is to play the Cramorant. So as you all may be very familiar with, there is a Cramorant, which came out in Lost Origin as well. It's got the attack, Spit Innocently, 110 damage, and more importantly, the ability that says, if you have four or more cards in the Lost Zone, ignore the energy cost of this Pokemon's attack. So the idea is you attack with Mikago, start getting cards into the Lost Zone. You've got Colrus Experiment there to help you along as well. And then you've got Cramorant to sort of help you on those, you know, uneven turns where you might not have a Mikago ready to attack. But not only are you sort of setting yourself up for a two-hit KO on most V-Stars, even most V-Maxes, the Cramorant also doesn't require any energy at all to attack. So you sort of reduce the number of times that you need to have the energy in play to actually attack with Mikago. And generally speaking, reducing the number of times that you have to attack with Mikago, as unintuitive as that sounds in the Mikago deck, um, it helps. So to help you along, you've got Manaphy to protect your bench. You've got Greninja to help you get energy into the discard pile as well as draw through your deck. Four Magma Basin and four Raihan to get the energy into play faster. You got cards like Colrus, like I mentioned, to help draw and get cards into the Lost Zone. You got four Serena in the deck in order to hunt down Pokemon and, and maybe you knock out a Pokemon V. See, it's very interesting. Mikago does 220 damage. And that's, that's a KO, whereas like a lot of other Pokemon are sort of balanced around the idea that they can't hit 220 damage. You know, if you think about Snorlax from Lost Origin, you put a belt on it and it still only hits for 210. I say only like that's not a lot of damage, but you get what I'm saying here, right? So, and then you run like kind of a very healthy amount of energy. You've got 12 fire and a couple of capture to help you set up at the beginning and throughout the game as you go. And then just like the rest of the cards are there to help you set up four scoop up nets really help things along as well. So look, i got a game going on up here. Please enjoy, and I'll see you in the next live stream or video. So take care and goodbye. Please subscribe. I like making YouTube videos, and it helps me if you do that. So goodbye. Goodbye. To get ready for another Lost Volcano. So it's not exactly not an assured thing. But on the other hand, the trade-off is, is that they now have nothing in play. So they can't evolve. Um, as far as the Ice Rider Calyrex goes. Um, even Pierce? If they were to attack with Pierce, it's not enough. Your favorite Pokemon is Cinderace. Yeah, nice. Nice. There's some Cinderace cards in format. We can have a look at them after this, if you like. I may not have any, but... Karim, if you go have a look through my... Um, past videos. I did do a video on a Cinderace deck, which I was pretty proud of. It was like a, a stage 2 tank deck, which is not very common. Crisis power? Yeah. Yeah, it was sick. You, like, buff the HP, and it became 
like difficult to deal with. Sounds like S tier for you. Well, look, it's about as good as it gets as far as Cinderace goes. Um, how good is it? Well, look, if you if you're playing games with your mates, just your friends, then yeah, it's probably fine. Um, okay, so we gotta figure out what to do. We gotta figure out what to do. Level ball grabs us a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, so we're gonna take a Slugma. You enjoy fire Pokemon? Well, good thing we're playing the Macargo. Good thing we're playing this. Then, I think we're gonna use Concealed Cards, the ability on Radiant Greninja. Discard an energy and draw. Okay, have a think about what to do here. So we can do this, right? We can basin. Let's put this down just so we have it. I want to put an energy down here. Kind of. What if I split the difference? I don't think that works very well. I think what I want to do is this. And grab that. That seems good. That's why if all your cards are fire type. Yeah, well, fair enough. Fair enough. I get the feeling that this Macargo is done zone. I also get the feeling if I if I pile two energy onto the Slugma, I'm in trouble. So next turn I could go right hand. To accelerate an energy. Oh, it's hard. Oh, no, 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 no. No, yeah, it should work. Yeah, we've got one fire energy in the discard pile. This works. This should work. And turn. Sure. Is water stronger than fire? So, of course, um, fire Pokemon generally have a weakness to water. You can see the water weakness here in the bottom left-hand corner. Up here. Um, but that that's not always the defining factor in, in a matchup. It just gives them an, an advantage for sure. So we might not see an attack out of our opponent here, which is something that... I was sort of afraid of. Surely. Yeah, switch. Okay, all right. So this is sort of the outcome that I wanted. We've only got three cards on the Lost Zone, so it is going to have to be some kind of Macargo turn. Doesn't matter if you have Chandelure, which removes weakness. <laughs> now you're talking. All right. Greninja to the active. Now we got to think. We're going to deal with this opponent of ours. So, start off by doing this. All right, and then I think it's right hand. This is hard, actually. So, I realize now I've only got one fire energy to work with. So, if I grab a fire energy, that's probably my best chance here. Because I have to use concealed. Unlucky. It's alright. Magma Basin to here. We'll do Manaphy as well, just in case they somehow Moonlight Shuriken us or something. Bit of a rough one, bit of a rough one. See? Boss's orders. There it is. There it is. So 
So I see that one of our one of our options is in the discard pile. Uh, sorry, in the in the prizes. We need our other slugma. Oh, I messed up the cards. It's very funny how they they glitch out like that. All right, we're gonna do this, and then we can go right hand. Right. And maybe, maybe we just want, I was going to say maybe we want Rod, but that is in the prizes too. Right, well, Cramorant gets to attack this turn, which is good on the turn upcoming. It will be able to take down the Calyrex. If the Calyrex tries to escape, we've got Serena to help us hunt it down. I'm not looking at my prizes, thank you. It's just being glitchy, okay? It's not my fault. I don't know why it bothers with this animation. So dumb. May maybe thinking about the future when you have like um, town map and expanded and stuff. Calyrex. Do we still have rope? We don't. That is going to make life difficult. Doable. You spend more on gameplay items than live. Yeah, fair. Oh. You like the card sleeves? These ones. All right, cram. Cram's in there. I mean, it is just a Serena, right? We need to get these cards out of the prizes. But uh, it's starting to get a little dicey. You know, we don't... Not that they know, but we don't run a bunch of the cards that we need. We've got double quick ball, double fire energy, though, to hold us over. So... It's going to be a bit of an extended scenario. No Slugma, bro. One, two, three. And we know the other one's in the prize. This one, this is a Slugma. Trust me. Trust me. Pretty sure. It's okay. So we're going to go Ordinary Rod and we'll grab two Slugma. I think we're not going to grab Slugma Mikago because we really need to have two in play because otherwise Calyrex is going to do too much work against us. Um, I think what would be ideal is if the other Cram is in the deck. I think it is. It should be. Definitely should be. They're going to win ahead of schedule at this rate because they're going to quick shooting this Manaphy down. That's not good. It's right though. Yeah. Okay. We got a lot of work ahead of us, but we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's fire energy in the discard pile. So we're going to go Concealed. Get some extra cards. So there's the cram that I needed. Right. So that's step one. You can go Ordinary Rod. 
and we'll grab those two. And we'll leave the fire energies in there. So there's one. How many Serena have we been through? Hard one. I think discarding the Serena here is fine. So there's two. So I really want a net. I really want net. So we can prevent this KO from occurring. Um, do this. If I bench this, is that game losing? I don't think so, right? No. So I'm just going to do it. 110. This is a pretty tense game. It's pretty rough. We're on course to win. I think. This is dicey. That one magma basin, very dicey. Yep, of course, of course. So I think here, it's clear that we really just need to win on the turn up coming. And thankfully, this Drizzle came into play this turn, so they can't just like scoop up net and then do a third quick shooting to win. All right. I think we put Greninja in the active. And then there are a few cards that we need here. Cynthia's Ambition is going to help a lot. All right. Unfortunate that we drew Magma Basin. It's not a good card uh, for this hand. We're going to draw seven. And hopefully those are good cards. Um, that is not enough. It's not enough. So if you have a think about it right, the only way we win with this hand is if this gets us scoop up net and an energy. It needs to be a switching card and an energy card. That is a really unfortunate draw for the quality of the cards that we had in deck. I'm going to go Concealed. <gasps> Dude! Dude! We win! Bro, those were the exact two cards we needed. Holy moly. What a turn! Bro. Get wrecked, Calyrex. That is a highlight reel of a turn. Oh my gosh. I called it. It's like we need a, a switching card of some kind and an energy off two card draw. It's Greninja. We tried to thin. There were no Pokemon left, so we just had to believe. And we, you know, we hit it. Wow. What a game.